Comcast and GE are reportedly getting even closer to a deal over NBC. If an agreement is reached, it appears that Comcast would have control of GE's television and movie company, NBC Universal. Well, Porter Bibb is a deal maker specializing in the media space. He's got over 40 years experience in the industry and he's now a managing partner at MediaTek Capital Partners. So we've been talking about consolidation here, the NBC Comcast link up. Right. Do you think we're going to hear something before Wednesday when we hear earnings from Comcast? No, there is there is no deadline. Uh, GE and Vivendi are wrangling over the valuation of Vivendi's 20% of NBCU. Right. And, and that they, they have another three or four weeks before they have to come to a decision. And the longer they can hold out, the higher price they're going to get. And the rumor, or what has been reported at least, is what, $28 billion? But Sanford Bernstein has a 21, 20, 20, 20, 28 to 30 billion. is what everybody's talking right. about. And they're saying that the Vivendi shares were $6 billion and maybe Vivendi would like to get 8 And so if they keep talking and drag this thing out, <laughs> the Comcast GE side of it seems to have been put to bed right now. Brian Roberts and, and General Electric have come to terms. But they still need the Vivendi 20% to make this work. How would this play out for Comcast shareholders? How is this a good deal for well, them? Well, the, the market is not giving Brian Roberts and Comcast no. a lot of credit. But I, I think it's a vital strategic move because basically what's going to happen is that c cable is going to be commoditized. And Brian Roberts is trying to get Comcast's position in, as a, com as a uh, content player. And, and in January, the major television set manufacturers are coming out with broadband equipped mm -hmm. TV sets. That's where the cable companies know they're going to have to deliver. And if you don't have any content, there's not much you can say. You're going to lose customers. It sounds like that matchup, what you're talking about, isn't going to look like a traditional TV N network. Not at it, all. It's going to be, what, mobile? It's going to be you bet. on your iPod? It's, it's all digital all the time. It's not TV everywhere. It's all digital everywhere. Wow. But th that seems like that's more of a, a long-term transition it, it for, for an gonna, NBC. Yeah, it's not going to happen tomorrow. But uh, what, what happens when the public starts buying Internet-ready, Internet-capable television sets, and with one click on your remote, you can take a signal off, the, off your computer and put it onto your home entertainment center or your mm -hmm. television set, then the next step is movies on demand. And that's what Hollywood is waiting for. Do you think that, you know, looking at the earnings slate we have this week, do you think the yeah. CBSs of the world, the Viacoms, the Time Warners, understand what you're talking about, that they'll be able to compete in that same space? I think they understand it. I think the problem is they don't have a solution. They're in the same boat that the music industry was five years ago. They know that digital is going to happen, but they haven't got a business model yet to solve the, the equation. Mm -hmm. Where is the most growth going to happen? Because people talk about digital, they talk about mobile, right. but it still seems like a concept, less of a reality right now. Well, the old media is down in advertising and it's coming back very, very slowly with mm -hmm. the economy. New media, Google reported an 8% increase in advertising for the, for the uh, third quarter uh, last week. The old media is just showing deficits. Uh, so it's all shifting, but it's not going to happen in a day. It'll take another couple of years. Advertisers are looking for accountable advertising. They want to pay back and some documentation of what they get for their investment. And old media can't give that to them. So those old media names, those Time Warners, those Viacoms, those CBSs that are going to be reporting this week, is there hope that the ad market is Well, back? it depends. You have a good salesman like Les Moonves at CBS. He's, he's pumped his company's share price up 50% in the last 90 days by saying advertising is back. Mm -hmm. It's not back. He's going to report a low... A, five or six or seven percent deficit against last year but it's slowly trickling back the problem is when advertising comes back full bore it's going to be in new media not old media and what is that going to look like well it's it, it's going to be digital it's going to be mobile it's going to be uh, on television it, it's banners it's you know things appearing on your screen they're not commercial spaces it's not so, madison avenue di it'll be a different form the old 30 second spot is pretty much dead right now. It's 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 a dinosaur in the world of advertising, and interactivity is going to be the new mantra. So, what does that mean for Sweeps Week? Because that's upon us next week. Well, sweep, the, Sweeps is kind of being demobbed de, de, de here because yeah. the, the, it doesn't make any difference. The television networks, the major networks in the Sweeps Week, for 40 years have been losing audience, and they're down now to uh, about 40 percent of what they had five years ago. So, yes, it's still important to their bottom line and their balance sheets, but going forward, sweeps are going to be irrelevant. We are just 
talking uh, before this about consolidation in the movie studio space. Yes. Do you think right. that's going to happen? I, I think that there's going to be a shrinkage, but not a consolidation. The, the idea that content is king again mm -hmm. is, is very prevalent in the thinking of the, the guys who run these co these media conglomerates. You'll see the marginal studios, Lionsgate, you'll see MGM, some of the, the independents be bought in, and mm -hmm. you'll see cleaning up of, uh, of the special interest studios that are under the, the majors' uh, umbrellas. That gobbling up. Thank yeah. you so much, yeah. Porter Bibb, managing partner at Media Tech.